Hey, this is Shantae coming to you with Brown Sugar Talks uh, under Black Unicorns. I'm coming today because uh, today is Wellness Wednesday. Today, I am going to talk about, first off, let's, let me give you a recipe. Kumato tomatoes. You can get the, the small ones. If you get the small ones, cut them in half. If you get the large ones, just like I would just use one or two. A avocado, balsamic vinegar. I don't use olive oil. I think you can use olive oil, but not not much. And salt. I would just do balsamic and salt. Delicioso. Like this is something. This is like one of the best recipes that I have. Like you can eat it every day. And even to make it like a little bit more fresh, you can put cucumber in there during that time too. All right. So um, and also today I'm eating. I've been eating these Sobe almond almond um ice cream yeah almond almond um almond milk ice cream is delicious so try those two they are so 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 good um let's go ahead and get started so today i would like for you guys to think about your tts your chichis your cha-chas i just recently had to have a color test because of my age like you have to at a certain time you want to check and see if you have cancers or whatever in your family so the color test um you can send it out and it's actually online if you want to do any more research it's a test that they they basically take your blood and just just figure out if you if you've had a history of uh, cancer in your family then they figure out what cancers you are susceptible to or that you could uh, pro- that you could primarily get or not get whatever um the other reason i'm talking about chee cheese is that i had a huge problem with, with breastfeeding so i i went for i went between texas and illinois in texas i think the the rate of breastfeeding is like 80 something percent in illinois it's 11 percent, especially the little small place i'm from um when i got there everybody was offended that i was breastfeeding they actually had like natural issues against me uh breastfeeding which i like to tell people hey you know you are giving a human human milk instead of getting me in a human something that's been um that's that's been created by a machine or something that's um actually given the like, coming from another animal so i i did enjoy breastfeeding but sometimes it got a little tender but because i moved back to illinois i ended up stopping breastfeeding because everybody saw it as like this condemnation of just like how could you how could you breastfeed so anyway um I wanted to talk about breastfeeding because breastfeeding is important as far as like the health of children, different things like that. Um, I may be preaching to the choir though, depending on who my listeners are. Listeners are um, breastfeeding is pretty much healthy for the child. Sometimes women quit before about two months just because they find it. Maybe they feel like the child isn't getting enough milk. I had that situation, y'all. I was panicking. I was ready to take him back to the hospital. I was like, no, I can't do this. But anyway, he just, um, just yes, it was you. I was like, you would not. At first, you wouldn't latch on. You wouldn't get this stuff. It's called the, I think it's called the meconium or the something like that. Look it up, guys. It starts with an M. And you have to, no, colostrum. Colostrum. And it comes out. That's the first thing that comes out. It's like a little ball of milk. So, look, your stomach is about this big, Blake. That's how big it's. That's all the milk you need. I know. I couldn't produce, well, now it isn't. Your stomach is bigger now. But when you were a baby, I couldn't produce enough milk in order for you to be able to. Wait, it was 11%? Well, eleven percent of people that breastfed, but when I was in Texas, it was like eighty something percent. So anyway, I couldn't produce enough milk for you to even get the. You couldn't. You didn't. You didn't start off well. So I was. I, so I was. I was. Oh my God! I was upset but about that. But hopefully, I made it. Did I? You did. Yes, you made it. You made it so much so that if I did not breastfeed you, you bit me because you were upset with me. Yes. Oh. I bit you. Yes, because one day I denied you the breast, okay? And then you got so upset you bit it. You bit you bit me. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Thank you so much for apologizing for that. But, um, but can I talk? Yeah, you can talk. They're listening. No, just talk. They can okay. hear you. Hey, guys. It, it's her mom and my mom's son. And um, we're, having, um, we're having a talk about breastfeeding. So, um, so I made it, but I bit her, so don't bit your mom. Don't bite your mom. Don't bite your mom. Right, don't bite your mom. So, um, it's very important that you do breastfeed so that your children grow up strong and healthy. Um, 
I what else did I want to talk about? Also, I want to talk about just making sure you get your um your yearly checkups to be sure everything is okay. I have not like done anything as far as like um cancers or anything like that as far as like or breasts as far as like the healthiness of it. I do know that if you use the tea, the thistle tea. You will produce milk within like four hours if you're having trouble with any breastfeeding. Um, which is very natural. Also, you probably want to eat more. And I think pumping and putting it in a freezer, that really helped me too. Because some nights I just weren't ready. I just weren't ready. Make sure, oh my God, now they have so many ways for you to order food now online and order groceries and different things like that for your food to be delivered to you so uber eats is one of those ways um whole foods delivery is wonderful i love it through amazon of course i'm a fan of amazon but i actually prefer the whole food side of amazon now and another delivery oh you know you can go pick up things at target and walmart but as far as delivery Uber Eats DoorDash favor. I am a fan of Netflix. <laughs> and my son is a fan of Netflix. Because I love Netflix and there's a movie that I watch like every Sunday. Okay. So, he's a fan of Netflix. What's your favorite fruit or vegetable to eat? Oh, sorry. Do you have a favorite fruit or vegetable? That's a vegetable. He loves avocados. It's good. Mm -hmm. And healthy. And healthy, right? So, that's it for us for Wellness Wednesday. Very short uh, thing. Just make sure you take care of your chichis, your cha-chas, your titties, whatever you call them. Make sure you rub them every once in a while, too. It's good for you. Have a great day. Thank you. Brown Sugar Talks. Have a good day.